Room allocation is simply the allocation of rooms to guests so that you know how many and exactly which rooms will be occupied by different guests. Room allocation is a basic concept, but a vital process necessary especially when a hotel becomes busier and there are back-to-back -back occupancies. Room upgrades have always been an important part of a well-rounded upselling program. And these can only be done if room allocations are efficient and accurately done and recorded. Putting a room upgrade strategy in place requires strategic and mathematical thinking. Understanding the guests and knowing what your guests are looking for while visiting your hotel is something to take into consideration. The first priority of your upgrade offer should be understanding which two room categories you can upgrade your guests to based on your inventory and most popular rooms booked. For example, if your hotel room inventory is divided into 50 economies, 10 standards, 20 deluxe, and 5 junior suites, but 80% of your guests book economy rooms, then you could create a room upgrade strategy offering three choices using two different room types, two options using deluxe rooms, since you have 20 units, for a smaller upgrade, and one option using a junior suite category for a more expensive upgrade. A key piece of information for front office staff to understand in order to effectively upgrade is the hotel pricing strategy and revenue strategy. That way, upgrading or allocating rooms, making changes, and handling walk-in guests will be much easier and profitable for the hotel. Here is a list of most common and effective pricing revenue strategies to be aware of. Number one, competition-based. A competitor-based hotel room rate pricing strategy starts by understanding the rates that your competitors are selling their rooms at. A hotel sees how competitors are setting their prices for each room category when they're increasing or decreasing their room rates and how often they are discounted. Two, forecasting-based. Forecasting is an effective strategy to set prices based on what you expect the demand to be. When done accurately, a hotel will be able to predict the best prices based on demand and expected occupancy. Three, length of stay strategy. The goal of this strategy is to modify prices based off minimum and maximum length of stay to increase occupancy and to encourage longer stays. Four, segment-based. This is one of the most commonly used pricing strategies in the hotel. For example, a hotel might charge a corporate guest a lower price for the same room because they are more likely to book more rooms at any given time. Whereas a hotel might charge a walk-in guest who needs a room for just one night stay a higher price because of urgency in their booking. Five, occupancy-based. An occupancy-based strategy works based on supply and demand. Essentially, when demand exceeds supply, a hotel increases their room rates. On the contrary, in a low season, in order to ensure revenue, a hotel can charge a lower price in order to increase occupancy. Six, incentive-based. This works by offering promotions and coupons to potential guests, thereby giving them an incentive to book. Hotels can offer various discount codes through their email marketing channels to regular and repeat guests to encourage them to book directly with the hotel and not through a third party. Seven, loyalty-based. This is a great strategy to keep guests coming back. Offering better prices to a loyal customer encourages repeat bookings. Eight, cancellation policy. Although not a price-setting strategy, it is a useful revenue strategy. A hotel may offer better prepaid advance rates that have non-refundable cancellations so that even if a guest cancels, the hotel has already locked in some revenue and has a chance to resell the room at a lower rate. 9. Rate Parity Strategy This strategy focuses on keeping hotel rates the same across all distribution channels. That way, a guest will know that whenever they book, the rate will always be the same. 